Hi guys, Creative Lori here, welcome. So, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome and welcome back to everyone else. And I do $25 grocery hauls once a month. Um, well, I buy $25 worth. I might go a couple of two to three times a month just to gather up what I need. I feel like if I go once a month, I'm not seeing the deals. And now is a time when we have to get the deals. So I only go if I'm in the area or have to go to the store for a reason, which I'll explain in a second. But I wanted to say I had a really good experience, not experience, a really good something happened to me um, in July. And I got, I had found, when I went to go feed my feral cats, if you all know, or some of you know, I go feed feral cats every single night and I went to go park and I got out and I saw like a crinkled up $5 bill. And I'm like, what? Oh my, and there was no cars around me after that because I go in later and there's a local bar and restaurant. So I took that $5 because I was over by like $2 and 49 cents or something like that for July. And so I took that other two fifty, <laughs> and actually it was really three dollars that I took and spent. But I had some change, and I, I say that because I I want to be I want to hold myself accountable. I had a five dollar bill. I was over by two fifty, so I had two fifty, and I took in some of my change so that if I found something in at grocery outlet, I was gonna get it. I went in looking for that light life um, ham, vegan ham for 47 cents, but they were out. I wanted to try this because I saw this when I went to do my haul last month and I was so curious about it and they still had it and it was like weeks later and it's plant-based ground meat. Guess how much this was? These were, I should say. So they are 12 ounces each. And um, I'm really excited because this can make some real, I, I love barbecuing and I like burgers. So <laughs> these are gonna make some great burgers for my dad and I. A dollar 47 a package. So basically that was like $3, right? But I had change with me, just random change. I hardly ever carry cash with me but I whenever I have cash I put the change in my car you know my little I don't know what it's called but it's by my steering wheel and I put it in there and I'm like you know I'm just gonna take a little bit of this so I went in there because I had to look for cat food so I bought this back in July um, I just haven't showed you guys but I'm pretty excited um, I mean it looks like a lot I know you can't see it because it's frosted over. And then a different time that I had to go get more cat food because it's getting harder and harder to find. Um, it's the sign of the times and I feed a lot of cats. And so sometimes I have to go to Target, Walmart, grocery outlet. So anyways, I went back to grocery outlet a second time because I, and this was um, in early August, so like the second, I think. And I got um, a thing of shredded cheese. It's Colby Jack. And it does say Best Buy May 29th, 2022. I, I froze it, so it just went in the freezer. I haven't even used it yet. And it'll be fine. So I got that. And when I was there, um, that's all I got, actually. So that counts towards my um, monthly. And that's this was $4.97. So I will, I'll, I'll give you a total. I've, so far, if you if you watched my farm haul, um, I think I spent seven or eight dollars plus four ninety seven. Okay, oops, my flash went out. That's okay. So um, then I went to Dollar Tree because I really needed some stuff, and this is like a very small haul, as you can see. So I'm including some ancillary items that don't count towards my food. You know, but this does. So I got a thing of pepper jack cheese because last month I bought Monterey Jack and, and this lasted me quite a while. So it's fine and I will use that maybe on top of that. 
And then I got some Franks. They were $1.25, of course, but even at Walmart, they're hard to find. And I, I don't buy them often, but I do buy them for my puppy. My He's not a puppy, but he acts like a puppy. And it was $1.25. Not towards my food, though. That's for my animals. Okay, these next items are all um, household goods that I needed. Uh, I got some body wash. They're all good size. I was able to find good sizes um, this time. That was 32 ounce. Um, and it is cruelty free, but it did have coconut in it and I'm trying not to buy anything with coconut or palm oil anymore, but uh, I was too late. I'd already purchased it. And the next thing I got was a shampoo, also a nice size, 32 ounce, a little smaller than the last time I had bought the same exact shampoo, um, but still okay. And the shampoo was also uh, cruelty free, which was great. So the next thing was the detergent. I bought this before. It's a smaller size uh, than the bottle next to it. I'm just showing a comparison. And I've showed that in my last video as well when I bought some um, things. This is 64 ounce and I think the other bottle was like 30. So quite a bit of difference, but I do like to put um, half in one and then add cold water to it and so it just stretches it out i believe this brand they say it's cruelty free but i'm not so sure about that i need to keep checking on that because it was kind of a strange call center when i asked originally a few years ago <laughs> anyway okay so I, I needed more dish soap and this was a bigger one i haven't found these in a very long time it's uh, 50 ounces, they used to be 64, but now they'll, they'll sell some that are much smaller, almost half the size. I've seen three sizes now, but either way, I've never tried this um, fragrance. I, I found it to be okay. It's the Spring Bouquet, so I'm okay with that. So I guess let me know in the comments below if you've experienced some shrinkflation at your Dollar Trees as well. Okay, the next video is the rest of the haul that I got for the week, so stay tuned. Okay, this was actually the next day. Um, I really wanted to go to the Dollar Tree that was um, in the older part of town, which is like about a mile away from the other Dollar Tree, a little less than a mile. Um, and I was gonna be over there anyways, so I needed to pick up some things. So I'm just showing you a little price comparison here um, and I'm doing a voiceover because I could not upload the other part of my video to this editor. So this is 32 ounces or organic blueberries from Target. My tenant bought them for 1140 something and um, I bought these blueberries. One is for my dad and one's for me. They're 10 ounce each and they're $1.25. So if you bought four of them, that's $5 and that's 40 ounce. So it's less than half the price of the Target ones and you get 40 ounces, so eight more ounces. But yes, the down the, the part that's bad is that they're not organic, but um, I can live with that at the moment. <laughs> and then in the back, you'll see some okra, packaged okra. That's also for my dad. Then I got a 12 pack of eggs. They are cage free, which is really nice and exciting. Um, and I got two of them. And the one thing that you can't see behind the Target blueberries <laughs> are the um, raviolis, frozen raviolis uh, behind that bag. And that was also from the Dollar Tree. So I got uh, two packs of eggs and the raviolis for myself and the blueberries. So that's four items, $5. And in total, I will give you a breakdown. Before I do that, I wanted to say also, whenever I buy something for my dad or pick up things for him, I don't make him pay me back, by the way. We just have a budget that we say and we try to stick within it. But let me come back with the total. Okay, so with all of my little hauls, uh, the farm haul was about $8. Um, the haul before this one that you saw was um, 5 Six twenty-five plus this five dollars is like nineteen twenty-five. So you can kind of see the raviolis back there. But anyways, nineteen twenty-five. So it'll be about the middle of the month by the time you guys see this video. So I still have um, five dollars 
and 75 cents to spend and that gives me enough to get a few packages of garbanzo beans and I want to get some sliced bread and that'll probably do it oh and maybe one more head of romaine or two just depending all right guys i hope you enjoyed this haul please like comment and subscribe bye bye